actually, and this is a beach deposit that you see left behind. All of those layers are actually unique, but the reason I kind of mention all of them is because when they're combined, that's when they do something pretty special to that salt layer down at the very bottom. When salt is under tremendous amounts of pressure, <coughs> it almost behaves like a thick toothpaste, and it can flow underneath the ground like a glacier can flow on the surface. So you all know what happens if you take the top off the toothpaste tube and you push down really hard on the other end, right? It makes a mess. <laughs> that's essentially what was happening here 320 million years ago. We have all the weight in the sediment that's building up on top of the salt, but it's thickest here on the northeast side where it's closest to that foothills in the mountain. So essentially it applies more pressure to this side than off to the southwest, causing it to squirt down in this direction. Now, in this case it doesn't actually come squirting at the end of the tube of the toothpaste, but it runs into the toothpaste cap, which is this two billion year old fault system that runs in the basement levels of the rock here underneath the park. And when it's interrupted by those fault systems, that fault system is so large that the salt doesn't actually push through. And it's so deep that it doesn't actually push down underneath it. But because pressure is still building up behind it, it still needs to move. So in this case, it actually starts to push up. And as a result, it essentially bends all the layers that you can see here at the surface into something that geologists call a salt dome. And in the process of doing this, because these layers are actually solidified to rock by that time, it starts to fracture the layers on the surface into a series of big, long, parallel fins where the rock walls you can see strewn throughout the park. And that's the ingredient, the main ingredient to arch formation, actually, because it's those thin rock walls where a hole can actually break through to the other side to form an arch. Now, if you actually look around for this geologic formation here in the park, you only see remnants of this today, because after this, we had, uh, we had the uplift of the Colorado Plateau. And with that uplift, essentially groundwater increased and got down to that salt layer down there below the dome, dissolved a lot of it out, of course, and actually caused that to collapse over time to form something you do see in the park. And it's there in the sides of this valley where those fins have completely collapsed. Where, about, where looking around the park today, you find windows, bowels, garden, delicate arch, and of course the ferry. As a result, some of those remnants of those fins, we have over 2,500 arches here. So you can see how a short story really helps you understand you know, how we got all of those arches from the park and how we see them.